that's our identity. You know, we're we're defending, 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 and um, trying to trying to not give teams time and space, trying to frustrate them. And part of that defending is just you know getting on the forecheck and being in their zone too. Cool. We have a two-part question here. First off, for you, with the depth you guys have on the D, a lot of what you do, at least outside, probably goes under the radar. How would you evaluate how your season went so far to this point? And then secondly, being paired with OEL for the bulk of the second half, what's worked so well between the two of you? Um, I think the first part, part of your question, I think the season was bit, has went really well. Um, you know, I've come here to, you know, be a part of, of the team that, that w wins and have a chance to win. Um, and, you know, I I like to, you know, defend and getting up on the rush and getting, you know, opportunities in the offensive zone, that's just all, like, part of the game. But for me, I think playing the game the honest way and, and you know, getting, getting the wins, that's the most important. And with... OEL, as soon as we started playing together, it just, you know, kind of clicked. He's, he's really good with it, with his stick. Um, I'm trying to support him in the, in the D zone. He's doing the same thing. He's just working working well together. Looking at that penalty kill you guys had in the second period, I mean, what do you guys do so well as far as bundling up that dangerous uh, Tampa Bay power play? Well, I think we just didn't let him set up in our zone. and. The more times they spend, you know, trying to break out and and getting in getting in our zone, that's that's time ticking on the clock. Uh, that's that's the most important thing. That's what we did well. Um, you, you just talked about wanting to join a, a winning team, but how much fun has it been for you to do that here? I mean, you went through a lot your first round yeah. with the Panthers, and I would think that you're really enjoying this version of the Panthers. Yeah, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying it a lot. Like you said, yeah, it's it's really fun. It's fun to win. It's fun to to play in a good team. Hey, uh, hi, Bill from NHL.com. In a tight checking game like yesterday, how great is it to see your forwards, you know, focus so much on defense, especially Matthew Kachuk, the type of defense he plays? Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, it takes it takes everybody on the ice for us. Uh, our defense starts in. In, in their zone, you know, in the, in the offensive zone when our forwards started back checking. Um, and then, you know, it, it continues on in the neutral zone. And then in our zone, we, we defend as five guys all, all the time. You know, it, no, matter, no matter who it is, uh, you got to do your job. You got to uh, defend and, and we get our chances from, from defending. Dimitri, yesterday you kind of set the tone for the game with a big hit early in the first period. Just, was that something that you had in your mind that you went through out there and kind of be, have a physical element to the game early, or did it just kind of develop that way? Mm -hmm. I always have some something like that in my mind, you know. And I'm, <laughs> I like physicality in the game, you know. Um, not throwing big hits, but not. I'm not always looking for a big hit um, when. The opportunity presents itself, you know, and when I don't know when, when it lines up like that, you know, it it ended up being being a good hit. But like I said, it's it's not something that you know I'm I'm looking for. You know, I'm try to be physical. Sometimes it happens to be a big one like that. Cooley, um, you know, been a little while since you played a playoff game for the Panthers. What was it like when? You came out on the ice and you know you saw that building and you heard that crowd and you love wearing the Panther jersey. <laughs> it was electric. Uh, when you come out, came out, you saw all the all the red the uh, what sticks or whatever they were and like you, all that red in the stands uh, and it was so loud that you know you some they couldn't hear anything other than you know fans screaming uh, that really you know, got me going, and everybody, I think, for sure. Well, you guys have been a very good road team as well, but when you do have that energy in your building, how much, I mean, what does that really mean? How, if, if you can win on the road when everybody's against you, 
Why does that, why does that energy at home matter so much? Um, well, we just like playing in front of our fans. Um, you know, being, a play, being able to start the series at home, I think it's a big advantage. Um, you know, our fans, you know, push us and give us energy. We feed off that, off that energy. Um, so for us, uh, like I said before, the, the home crowd um, energy is, is, is important and we try to, try to use it to our advantage. When the Tampa Bay power play gets set up in the offensive zone, what are some of the things you need to key in on? Because they have so many talented players out there and they can kind of make things happen. Um, you know, we look at the video, you know, try to break break their power play down. But they have, yeah, they have a lot of threats. Um, this anywhere you look on, on the ice, you know, they have a 144 point guy. You know, you have Sam Gross that scores one timers every time he shoots, basically. So it, we're just thinking, you know, not trying to let him set up in the first place. Um, and then, I don't know, don't try to give them time and space to, to do those, those plays that, that, that they have. Um, so hopefully Bobby makes a save, Everyone which he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you.